<laughs> what up? All right, so first of all, happy late Thanksgiving. Hopefully everybody ate well. We got to spend some time with the family. Nobody got drunk and broke the wrist. <laughs> yeah, my bad. Uh, and um, hopefully you ain't slept in at work today. So, right now I have three different hauls from three different areas. Uh, actually for Black Friday, I tried to do a Black Friday hunt but I was too lazy getting up from Thanksgiving, so I really didn't get anything, to be honest with you. Now, uh, yeah, so let's get on to this. Uh, we are going to go into some dollar bins. Yeah, some dollar bins. <laughs> I'm all jacked up, like, hold up. Man, oh, that's what it is, okay, yeah. So, I went to a couple of shops, different shops, did two road trips, so whatever, right? We're gonna get right into it. Uh, Moon Knight Annual, number one, um, one shot, just a great Dave Wilkins cover. Phenomenal, phenomenal Dave Wilkins cover. All right, this is from a road trip I did two weeks ago. And um, I overpaid for all, for all these. All these were cover. Um, I guess, I mean, this is only a dollar. But all these were cover, I, I bought them for cover, but it was to underpay for something else. If that makes sense, right? So, and that, that'll be like the last couple of books. Um, so, uh, I don't even know what is this. Devil's Do Studios 2003 mixtape from Image. Voltron Defender of the F Universe, number five. Captain America, number 30. Dr. Alpha, number 17. Uh, Dr. Alpha number 18. Star Wars, a Valentine story. It's a weird story. But it also tells you like the relationship between Chewbacca. Not like that, it's just whatever, right? Um, Black Widow number two. Black Widow number one from the Marvel Knights series. Uh, this is actually a dollar. Maybe I had more than one different haul in here. But this is from where I normally get my books. And this is back at that shop. Now I got this book, right? Somebody showed this off on Instagram. And I'm not a fan of Rob Liefeld. Sorry, whatever. Um, but I was more interested in that right there. Life field after something yakky. And I was, I was like, who the hell is that? Because I never heard of that. So that led me down to getting this and tracking down this person. Now, my LCS here, LCS here had a... Uh, Bought a massive collection and um, they finally opened up some of the boxes and fortunately for me, I was there when they opened it up and I got some, some fun stuff. Um, nothing really valuable, but fun. Um, so Wolverine Origins number 22, 23. Sorry. Uh, Wolverine Origins number 24. Uh, X Woman Marvel One Shots. Man, this series, holy smokes, man. Uh, the series that I'm about to show you is such a hard series to find. And I found the whole series except for number one because the shop owner wanted to hold off on it and possibly send it to CGC. Um, 
gray dependent. So hopefully uh, they do me a solid because I told them, I was like, hey, I want that book. If you're not sending it off, just hold it off for me until I get back. Uh, the series is White Tiger, right? So you have number two. Obviously number one is the book that they have. Uh, number three. And this cover, whoo! Bro, look at that. Number four. Holy shit, I'm missing one. I forgot to grab one. Uh, number five. Mm, mm, mm. Detective Comics 878 871 and uh, 850 So all these were uh, $3 and then uh, this last trip was the Black Friday that um, I tried to partake, but I was super late and all the deals were already taken. Like, uh, there was a shop that I like going to and um, man, they had anything with a 450 price tag is a dollar and I think anything in the back issue was half off. And this dude, like, when I got there, he had like a stack this big. I was like, well, ain't fighting shit today. And I didn't. <laughs> Wait, did I? No, I didn't. No, I did. I, I, I got one thing. Uh, so before that, um, went to a, a another LCS and it, you know, I gotta pick it up. Uh, it has a 450 price tag, and I think Coliseum was 20% uh, or 30% back issues. So, whatever. Uh, Star Wars Adventures Return to Vader's Castle. All right. If you guys watch Clone Wars and you know what that is about, um, we only find them when they're dead, number two. And the comic shop that I was just went on about. Uh, this is book, and I actually have to pause and go over there and grab the other thing. Was uh, that right there? Never did get this. It has an eight dollar price tag. I bought it for four, <laughs> but yeah. So really happy about that. Let me pause you. Right. So I call see my old so managed to get the what is this? The local comic shop day. Pretty much the retailers skyline edition and um, found this uh, they had a box 50 cent box of magazines and I was really happy to find this um, and if you follow me on Instagram it was quite uh, coincidental that Drasir tagged me with the variant of this I literally like, I pulled it out, I felt my phone vibrate, I look at it, I was like, are you kidding me right now? But, uh, yeah. You're like, why do you have this? We'll take a wild guess, right? You can see it, yeah. Silly, I know, but hey, for 50 cents, I will not pass this up. And then, I guess, uh, the fortunate books I was able to get. Now I was telling you that I overpaid at that one shop, and um, well, this is the reason why. Well, this particular is it, but I'm really happy to get this. But uh, Star Wars, Clone Wars, Adventures, and then this bad boy. So Voltron, Defender of the Forge. Why do I want to say Defender of the Forge? Defender of the Universe, number one. Now, what's funny about this book, right? Um, CGC on its label calls it a cover C, right? But if you actually look at the barcode on the um, uh, uh, 
book. It has a number three where typically it has like how, what print it is. So if I was to go by, you know, the traditional barcodes, this would be a third print. But even in the, on the barcode itself, it says cover C. So maybe this is a third print and third different cover. I don't know. That's my guess. But that's it. Um, yeah, I bought this. I think this was like $4 um, or whatever the, uh, the price is on that. But that's it. That's my haul. Nothing really special. You know, happy I got this. Happy I got this. Got me another one of these. Got me another one of these. And then uh, this person right here. And this book right here. So, if I was to tally all this up, it was 30, 34, And uh, 30, it's like 50 bucks, more like 60. I think it's more like 60 bucks I paid for everything here. So it was a fun that store. I really didn't care about those other books, but I didn't never, I have never been there before. So I didn't know how that was going to play out. So I bought those other books with these to see if it'll hopefully uh, distract the person at the counter. But anyways, I'm out. Uh, I don't know how many more hauls I'll do this year unless I find something great. I really don't foresee myself buying anything. Um, I'll, I'll do an end of year recap, the triple nickel, and uh, yeah, hopefully you guys uh, are doing awesome. Later. <laughs>